Alright, what's going on guys? Um, figured I'd do a video on how to get the alternative CDs. Now, you probably heard some people say that they've had trouble with Ubiquity, which is the point-and-click GUI-based installer for Ubuntu. Um, the particular machine I'm running on is an AMD 64. Um, and I had nothing but issues with Ubuntu uh, AMD 64 Ubiquity base installer. So you guys need to f download in the text based installer instead and a lot of your problems will go away. So what happens with Ubiquity is that it ends up throwing up a bunch of errors like around 23, 24, 25 percent it'll say it can't copy over things like the kernel or if you get past the kernel um, it'll tell you you can't install certain libraries for GNOME or it can't install certain libraries that make Firefox work or it'll break all your synaptic packages or certain packages in a sense giving you kind of a useless system um, this goes for any derivative of Ubuntu, it were, uh, did the same thing with uh, Linux Mint. It did the same thing with uh, Ultimate uh, Edition. Um, so, uh, I'm going to switch over my monitor here. And this is running off my laptop, which is an AMD 64 1.9 uh, dual core. It is 2 gigs of RAM, 168 card drive. Um, people have said with this particular model, which is Acer Extensa 4420, that it was a no AC, uh, APCI command would fix most of the issues. That does you can get to about 50% of the install before it starts throwing up issues. Um, you can also try a, uh, what is it, ACIP or AICP off. Um, you can also try no ACPI and basically the results the same. Um, so we're going to go to the Ubuntu website. Uh, forget some of the screen flicker. Um, this is just running on the open source uh, drivers instead of AGL, AGILX. Instead, um, the proprietary drivers make uh, comps not function at all. So we need to go and right here download 9.04, but the one you want is even more options. Text-based alternative installer CD, and this is the one you guys want. You want this very first one, Ubuntu 9.04 Alternate AMD ISO Torrent. Only time you guys should be using torrents. <laughs> or you can also get them through the, um, you can also do the FTTP transfers instead. Um, and all you do is you click on that. You download it, be it transmission, ktorrent. Um, right now on the system I only have transmission. Um, so you can tell it to download. Transmission will pop up. And basically it downloads and you know you're good to go. That's really all there is to it. Um, it'll 
it's very reminiscent of the old um, Windows installer for uh, be it XP, um, that NT type of install, um, even earlier editions. But you can still do all the functions. It's just not a pretty GUI to do it with. That's all. Um, so for those of you who have had issues with your AMD 64s um, or your AMD systems in general, try the alternate install CDs um, because on this particular machine I have, it wasn't MD5 checks, it wasn't um, ACP, uh, ACPI off command, wouldn't do anything you'd still get the same errors, it was just different errors at different points. Um, so, that's how you guys get it installed. Uh, it's The installation might seem daunting, it's actually fairly simple and straightforward. If you've ever done a Windows reinstall, same idea, you'll have to manually partition your drives, it doesn't take that long. You can, But the drives are also guided so there's a few different ways to get about that so hopefully for those of you with AMD systems that have had issues with uh, the graphical install hopefully this solves some of your issues um, that's all I got for you guys